Okay, guys, this is going to be my review of the 90s action film, True Lies. What do I think about the film? I love it. Or, not that I love it. That I really enjoyed it. I think it's, it's as, tain, as an, it, entertaining as heck. Um, throughout the whole film, again, like, I was entertained. It was, it was, like, that last 40 minutes was just, like, one big, huge action sequence like you got blowing up the bridge you got the whole the thing on the the plane or that the the air force plane you got the thing on the the, the helicopter and the, the 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 limo thing you know you got you know fighting on the, in the keys so like the last 40 minutes were just great just big um big uh big action pieces action sequences like not realistic not not down to earth but just just great 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 uh blockbuster action you know the uh, iconic action you know just just like using guns using vehicles using explosions the way they killed the final vi the villain was epic where they put him on the blaster goes boom it's just great um just great action sequences um you know, it's not, it's nothing special. But I think what was odd about the film was like, it, there's like clear moments in this film where you where you can pick out three different acts. Obviously, like we just described, the final act is like that last big action sequence where there's like there's probably like a billion points in that final action sequence that I thought, okay, this is the final um, kill. This is the final kill. This is the final kill. And I love that they keep going on and on and on because, like, yes. Like, after the whole bridge thing, I was like, okay, good. That was a good film. I'm excited. That was a good film. I really enjoyed it. And then they, like, psych the film ain't over. And then, then they have the whole, you know, uh, plane sequence where, where the bad guy's on the plane and he has to save the daughter. But I think what, and then you got the, and then I think, like, the first act was also cool when he's try, spying on the woman. And then the whole um, mall sequence. Um, but then it was like, the, the middle was odd. The middle was odd because it was, I felt, very out of place for this film. And it felt like just set up for the third act. It felt like it was like a, a kind of, I don't even know what to describe that. It was like just some weird film where it's like this. You have the action's top notch, but the story is eh. Because it's like, okay, you have the first act. They're trying to spy on this girl. Or this girl. Then they have all the terrorists. Then they fight in the mall. Like that. Like this, well, the, the fight in the mall was probably like 10 minutes. But then you get to the middle where they're doing. They're talking about the, um, his wife's, you know, cheating on him. And then you go to. he's She's not actually. She's just doing it because she won't. He, she thinks, you know, the main character's boring. Then. Then they set up this whole spy thing. So it's like the whole midi middle was weird where it's like it has nothing to do with the story. It just feels like the middle is, they're just trying to find a way that they can get from action action sequence A to action sequence B involving both the husband and the wife. Oh, this sounds good. Let's, let's ha concoct this whole thing so that they all have relevance. And it was just odd where it's like, yes, the story keeps unraveling, but it like, that after the first act, the film just takes a completely different turn. Where now he's spying on the wife, and now it has nothing to do with the terrorist for the middle of the film. So it's like you watch the film, and you watch the first act, then you watch the second act, and it's like, okay, okay, a whole new film. They're talking about this whole, you know, car dealer pretending to be a spy. That's a whole premise in and of itself, to have this car dealing, dealer type spy. Like, like, that premise seems interesting. Like, like a spy who lies to his wife about being a spy. The wife thinks he's boring. Wants to go with another boy, another guy because he's, he's, um, adventurous. Yada, yada, yada. And then the, the spy tries to spy on her, her wife. His wife, you know, this idea of, like, they're both lying to each other. Yada, yada, yada. The story moves on. But this is not that. This is a spy, complete balls-to-the-walls action film you know, Fast and the Furious in the 90s film. But yet the middle feels so out of place. It's like, it goes from a complete action, um, complete just action craziness, pandemonia, 
stuff where it's just action, 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 great sequences, great sequences, great, you know, moments, iconic moments too. Uh, kind of a action comedy, but very much just a comedy. It, it went from one type of story to another, where it's like the whole middle. Again, talking about, you know, the wife and, explore, and him spying on him. Where it's like by the time you get to the third act, in some ways you almost forget about the whole, you know, nuclear part and the whole terrorist part. Because the whole middle is a completely different type film. And it, that was what made it odd. And I, I always like trying to make analogies to that. But I guess it's like... Um... I guess I wouldn't... I don't know how to describe it. There's, there's no real, like, analogy to make. About how at least I feel about it. I guess it would be like... Hmm... I don't know. I, don't, I can't think of a film similar to that. But, like, yeah, it's just odd that it's, like, okay, you go from this crazy action film to, like, this just, again, weird type of film where it's, like, the middle. He doesn't, he completely s- stops his mission. Where it's, like, okay, the middle is literally probably 30 minutes and 45 minutes of, like, 10 minutes of interrogating them. You know, a bunch of, just, like, literally, like, the car salesman. Like, it just feels so odd, where it's like, by the time you get to the final act, and I was to describe the film, and I said, okay, it's about this guy who has a wife, who tells him he's like a, you know, sales rep, and then go, then has to stop these terrorists, but then figures out his, you know, wife is going off with this other man, spies on the man, you know, re-gets different things, and yacht and stuff, and stuff, and then causes the wife to kind of spy and kind of make it, trying to get her to become her own spy. And then they go out, and then they get captured by the terrorists. It's just odd, because, like, I don't know what to kind of make of that, because it's just, I could go on all and on about how it's like, okay, you go from, you know, this kind of comedy with this girl, the girl, the wife, talk about all that stuff, and about, you know, this guy, Harold, Harry, whatever, is spying on the wife. But then I tell you the final act, and you're like, they're stopping a terrorist who has a nuclear bomb. And it's like, so, it's not even that it's out of place. It's more like the middle is out of place. Where it's like they don't know what it's trying to be. They're trying to juggle, I feel like, such an odd, not premise. Because of this action premise is in so many different films. But it's like, it felt like the middle was just a long setup to try to get from sequence A which is the opening sequence at the place and then spying on the the architect and then having fighting the terrorists in the mall to how how do we get it so that the wife gets captured the wife and the husband get captured and make it somewhat comedic and then have the husband tell the woman about him being a spy and get her in the battle and all that stuff how do we do that and because it's like I think they're. I feel like one of the problems has to be that this that they didn't really have enough of a story to make it a genuine lengthy film. It was like, oh, I want to make this crazy extravagant action film with generic terrorists and all this stuff, which the action is great. Yeah, don't get me wrong, some of the best you know action I've really ever seen. Craziest action as an action film fan. I love this. You know, I love the action parts. But it's like it was like they're like. How do we make it so that we can have a great, huge action film with generic terrorists and that architect girl and nuclear bombs? And, like, it's like, I just think, like, they didn't have an, a genuine good story. Oh, so let's, like, throw a subplot story so that we can, you know, make it feel longer. It felt like two films, like, a 45-minute short film in the middle about this whole wife thing. And then a probably hour, and, a, and then an hour and a half film about stopping terrorists. That's kind of what it felt like. Where it's like, it do, it's a long film, but it doesn't have to be. In my opinion, you could cut out the whole middle part. Not that I don't like the middle part. I think it's kind of interesting. It was funny talking about like the whole, this guy's trying to lie to his wife about being a spy, and then the interrogation scene. 
and then cat and then um kind of he getting set up as being a terrorist that was all fine and interesting and whatever but it has nothing to do with the actual story nothing to do with the actual story but yet it takes so long so you're like but if it's 45 minutes of the film why is that having nothing to do with the story i don't know it's like 45 minutes of what is probably i think like a two and a half hour film could be chopped off but they look like, oh, i don't want to make it i want to have film. it's fine it was the action's the best part I, the story's not the great race the story's generic and then the middle is kind of interesting but it feels so out of place for the type of movie it was for the first act and then looking at looking at the film as a kind of like a retrospective of with the last act being part of the film you're like the last act and the, the first act are very much the best parts for this type of film but yeah i really enjoy the action i think the characters are you know cool kind of characters so yeah i like the film i mean i love the action the action's top notch but everything else is okay and like i said the middle part is a little bit out of place for this type of film stay tuned for videos coming at you